Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Adam, this is my channel Adam Sews, and this is this week's Friday Sews. So I would just like to start off by saying a huge thank you to Jen from Today Jen's Sewing Room for setting up the hashtag Friday Sews. This allows us all to come together on a Friday and vlog under the hashtag so that if you type it into the search bar in YouTube, you will find a whole host of bloggers that talk about what they've been up to this week in their sewing room, what they are planning and what they've been happen what's been happening in their life a little bit. Um, so I will start off this week with life. Life has been manic. Um, I didn't actually think I was going to get a Friday so it's done today. I've had loads of orders to do. I've got um, different things that I had half finished that I wanted to get done this week. Um, work has been really, really busy again. Um, so that's been happening. And besides that, not really a lot. I've just been so tired when I've got home from work this week. I've just not had the energy to do anything. So the times that I have had energy, I've been cramming in as much as I can into those little gaps. And then today is obviously my day off. I don't work Fridays, which is great because it gives me time to film Friday sews. It gives me time to actually sew something for the week. And that's that. So what have I been sewing this week? The first thing that I've sewn this week was something that I started on last week. Um, just after Friday Sews last week, which is a um, another cushion cover, which is, this one is all of the Everglow animals in the centre. It's a take on sort of like a drunkard's path type block. Um, this is actually a free download for the, you can print out the foundation paper piece and patterns for this from Free Spirits website. And it is one of Chula's patterns. And it's actually to make a serpentine quilt which looks like a snake. So you're actually supposed to alternate them. And there's a pa uh, there's a paper pattern as well for the snake's head. So you can create like a whole snake out of it. I chose to put them all round like this way to create a big star like I did with my Alice in Wonderland one, which is the one that was on my last video last week. If you want to go and see that, it is on my channel. So I backed this with um, the black fairy flakes in Chula. I've put a black zip across there and I've bound it in the tent stripes. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with this. I was going to put it on my store because it's a nice 20 inch um, cushion cover and it's quilted. It, they are really, really nice. Uh, I have got, I could always keep it and put it on my bed, but then I actually want pillow, quilted pillowcases to go on my bed. So I'm not sure. Watch this space. Uh, it may go in the store, it may not. So besides that, I've been working for an order and a lovely lady contacted me last week and she said, would I be interested in making a set of three sort of corresponding bags that are from Everglow? So the first one that I made was Running With Scissors, which is the case for all of your hardware. Um, and I made the take a stand bag, which is this sort of a frame shaped bag that the running with scissors can actually fit on. So the running with scissors is made from the pink Everglow elephants. Um, it has got the elephants both sides. I chose to, to leave off, which I'm hoping is okay. I chose to leave off, there is normally a panel that goes across here, but it's about three inches wide. And what it was gonna do was cut off the elephant's head completely. And what I wanted to do on both front and back panels was get at least one and a bit of an elephant in. So I wanted to get the full design in and then get a little one in the corner creeping in behind him. Um, and by putting the panel on the front here would have completely cut off one of the elephants, or I would have had to drop the elephant down and then the panel would have been sat right resting on top of his head. So it was to do with the actual layout of the design. I chose to leave that panel off. Obviously, you would have lost half an elephant. Well, more than half an elephant. So it's got this beautiful pink webbing, which is a sort of really bright neon webbing. Um, as with all of my bags now, well, since recent, it has got one of the little handmade zip pull keychains, which you can take off and put on your keys if you'd rather. Um, it opens up revealing the inside which is there is pockets here which is where all the scissors and all of your different things go into there is elasticated 
sections down the centre which you can put press the feet underneath or you can put little reels of cotton in. There is two mesh pockets. There is a vinyl clear pocket here which actually fits the loop, the prim loop turners perfectly, um, which is what I've got in my one of these. Um, and then there is more um, little pockets here to put more hardware in. So that is the running with scissors. I then made the take a stand bag which goes with it which is this one here. So the take a stand has got the elephants on there as well. It's got the fairy flakes on the ends um, and then again I didn't put the panel on there because it was going to cut off the elephant's head and it's just it's I say panel is let me see if I can find one of my running with scissors. I've got another one here. Aha, here we go. Right so this is another running with scissors. So this is the back and the front has this big panel on it, which on here is fine because you're not cutting off any of the birds. But on the other one, putting that um, panel there, it would have cut the elephant's heads off um, and it would have done the same on the pockets on the taker stand. So the taker stand, as I say, it's not got the panel on the front of it because it doesn't really need to have front and back. It's got another little tag on here. It has all of the neon true colours binding on there an adjustable strap which can also be unclipped and removed completely so it's got the two pockets either side one on the front one on the back or that's the front that's the back whichever way around um it opens up to reveal the inside of the bag which has got elephants here it's got some of the um the true colors here it's got the poms on the other side and then it's got this lovely hot pink Got these lovely hot pink mesh pockets inside so that is the taker stand and the reason why the, the taker stand and the running with scissors are companions is because when you've got your running with scissors with all your tools in it it fits perfectly on top of the taker stand as you can see so you can actually use the taker stand to prop this up on the side next to where you're working and it means you've got access to all of your tools and all of the gubbins that go in the little pockets so that is that so as I say I've worked on those two this week I have now got all of the foam for the next and the third and final bag in this series uh, for this order sorry um, which will be a place for everything which is this bag here so it has multiple booklet um, pocket uh, pockets inside that you can flick through and it basically is going to be made from the blue colourway. So it will be made from the blue elephant. Oh, I'm nearly losing everything. It'll be made from the blue elephant, the blue fairy flakes and the blue stripe. Dobby, get down. Get down. Good boy, get down. Good boy. So that is that. That is Dobby trying to climb up me because he obviously thinks I'm a tree of some sort. Um, and that is pretty much all I've got done in the sewing room this week, which is quite a substantial amount, actually, compared to what I thought I was going to be able to get done. But I am looking forward to getting the rest of this order finished this weekend. I've got a half finished caddy over there, which needs finishing as well. And I am working my way through another two caddy orders. So that is what I have been sewing in the sewing room this week. But... I did just have to stop for a minute and message the Fab Five because I've just run out. Look at the shoe. Does anyone else find this really upsetting when you get right to the end of a um, spool of thread? Just thought I'd put that in there. I don't know why it upsets me so much, but it does. So on that note... I shall leave you for the week and I will see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. And if there's anything you want to know about anything that I've mentioned in the video today, comment down below.